Alrighty. <coughs> wow. <laughs> I was just up there talking to the property owner. He's moving Rocky's car. He's moving your car, Rocky. The old Valiant. Oh, that's it now. We can hear it. <laughs> He's putting it in a different parking spot for the winter. Yeah, hey, what do you think? What do you think, my good boy? I see. Okay, yes, you're right. Absolutely. Hey, next time you go up there, your car is going to be in a different spot. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Rocky. Hey, they're moving your car. And in a minute, I'm going to eat your cake. His Black Forest cake there that he rubbed himself on to indicate that it's his, that it belongs to him. I'm going to eat that too. <laughs> Rocky's not having a good day. His, his stuff is all being taken from him. Hey, losing his car and his cake on the same day. Well, he's not really losing his car. It's still going to be here. It's just going to be in a different spot is all. Yeah. Hey, you're an awfully good boy. You are. Hey, you're an awfully good boy, you are. Hey. How you doing? You want to go inside? Go ahead inside. My goodness. Okay, I got to get the... Uh, I got to unmake my bed. Got that big brown bag down there. That's a big bag uh, that came from Amazon. That's my toothpaste that I ordered. I'm in a great big bag. You'd think I ordered a lifetime supply or something. But there's really only three jars in there. At least that's what should be in it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now. Ah. All right. I got to start, Rocky. I got to start um, taking the stuff apart here. Well, I just heard a story, too, from the property owner here that... Uh, our local Canadian Tire, which is a hardware store here in Canada, for those who don't know, it's like a chain store. They also have a gas bar. Canadian Tire has a gas bar, which is a separate business from the store. But their gas bar is always on the same property. Anyway, um, the gas bar has been bought out by um, some immigrants. And they fired everybody that works in there, I guess. They did it in kind of an underhanded way. And um, I guess they're going to be bringing a bunch of immigrants in there to work anyway. You know, um, right there you can see how there are local people, people born in this country who want to work and who have been working in that business for some of them for several years. And um, they're now being put out which, uh, so for anybody to say, well, these immigrants are only taking jobs that the locals don't want to do, that's not necessarily so anyway, you know. Anyway, it really sucks. It's wrong. Um, terrible thing to do to people. We have a housing shortage here and they're bringing more people in. I'm not against immigration. I mean, this country is a country of immigrants. And so I'm not against immigration. But I think it has to be done sensibly. Um, you have to have a place for the people without displacing the people who are already here. You know, in order for immigration to work, you have to have a place for your new citizens Um you have to have a place for your new citizens um, and a place and you have w without um, displacing uh, people who are already citizens, you know. I mean, I'm hearing stories about people losing their housing or the landlord is throwing them out because they can rent to the immigrants for cheaper, all sorts of things, and for, for more, and rent to the immigrants for more money, you know, and stuff. It's not right anyway, you know. 
and this isn't racism or whatever. I'm not being racist here. I'm just apply, trying to apply a little common sense to the situation. Um, you know, I mean, if you've got three bedrooms in your house and two of them are already occupied, say you're, you and your spouse are in one and you have a child who's in another one, um, but you have a third bedroom and you figure you could rent that out to somebody, that's fine. But then if you say, well, we could rent the child's bedroom out to somebody and displace them and we do this and that, you know, then you're getting into a situation that just isn't healthy and uh, and isn't going to work. You know, it's going to breed all kinds of resentments and it's going to breed all kinds of problems. Um, anyway, and that's just common sense. But the thing is, what's happening is it's all part of the destabilization of, of Western society. Hi, Rocky. It's all part of the destabilization of Western society, which is an intentional thing. And um, it's along the lines of trying to um, dilute the national identity and trying to destabilize, overload all the systems and destabilize everything and make it collapse, you know. Because basically the United States and Canada have to collapse in order for their plan to work, for the globalists to, to create this one world government they want. That's why we're seeing this stuff happen. Anyway, we're seeing it locally. Um, we're seeing it at the local level, and this is just a small town in eastern Ontario, Canada, um, and it's happening here, so that gives you an idea anyway of where we're at in this country, and I know in, in, in the United States it's as bad, maybe even worse, um, yeah, immigration is a good thing, but only if it's done properly. Um, just like anything else, you know, there's a lot of things that are good things if they're done properly. But what's been happening lately hasn't been proper anyway. All right, I got to get into these bags here and start pouring water into my kettle and heating up the water for the hot water bags tonight. The mornings right now are terrible cold, so they're really needed, these bags are. They're desperately needed. And so I gotta get them ready anyway. There we go. Alright, we'll see you later.